Nanta Wonana second you guys I'm sorry Teaching my children how to cook. They know how to use the oven pretty well. They just kind of like at that stage where like, what what temperature does it need to be on? How long does it got to be in there? Stuff like that. Thank you. It's Hello Kitty. Well, that's not my fault, Alex. No one told you to be watching a movie at 8 o'clock. Or midnight. Whatever. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this. Hi, Kenny. I love you, love bug. <clears throat> it's 11. It's midnight here, sir. Miss you too. I was just thinking about you, how much I wanted to post stuff about you, but I'm like, nah. Um, I just got to the end of this part. Throw a chair. She interrupted my movie. Right at the end, too. Well, you know what? Go watch your movie. I don't need you here. <sighs> Oh, 
I feel like there's a bird out here. Like a raven. I mean, I feel like I've done everything I can do here for now. Oh, I know I am. Here we go. <clears throat> you we should come back with the cypher you can hit the birds are flying in the air in the distance if you time it right i know i've already did it dork she interrupted my game well go play your game kenny meh i still can't read these another one here boah it's the world serpent He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look. He bit Thor. Or what? I've actually... Dork Pork. Um... Hi, Jay. Um, like pork. I get it. I get it. I've I've killed a lot of the ravens. I think I've got like eleven or something like that so far. So so far so good. I know that. Oh, by me. Look, guys. I'll be here. What is that? It smells awful. Poison. Amazing, I fuck with the fit. Thank you. My Hello Kitty t shirts, cute AF. Um, ain't letting me send a big sister a cocky kiss. Aw, mom, how do you cook pizza? Because if you don't make a good pizza, I'm making it for them. You gotta make it chicken tenders. Bug, bugaboo, Zazo. Is he making, not making the chicken tenders? Yeah, yeah, he's making Huh? Joey's making them? Yeah, he's making them. That's what I thought. He's, they're for everybody. Okay. Well, you can make the pizza whenever he's done. Okay? Can you get it out? Yes, I'll get it out of the oven. I told you that. If you put it in the oven, I would take it out. You just got to tell me yeah, when well, you I put it in. I can't put it in the oven because I have to make it in the oven. 
Nikolai. Well, if you would have done that before Nikolai. Yeah, because I thought you were making me do the video. I said if you put it in the oven, I would take so it So you should see your turn next Grace, week. hold on one second, guys. Okay, enough for everybody. See, I'm a billion. Well, do we have, do you have any snacks or anything? I have some of those pinwheels. Yeah, They're on the bed. Have... And they're open, so you can have some. Um, what's up, David? She says how much she loves mashed potatoes and gravy on the side. Now she says she loves, she got a lot of stinky fart. What? Nice. We on sensory deprivation stream. Daddy like you. <laughs> it's uh children 101 how about that oh shit oh man you stupid big lizard you earlier this morning I know oh in your life are you talking about in your life I came in for a minute but I didn't get to stay very long because my phone died so it's on the charger now soon we'll be able to translate those moose behind moons sitting literally just laying back watching TV nice what the hell is this? Can Atreus not read it for me? Okay, that was a waste. In your box? Oh, what were those things? They smelled awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one on. who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> Figuring out how to use the mute button. <laughs> Hold on. Hmm. 
Wait, you muted me earlier? Yeah. Do you want to play God of War? I don't know. I just started it, Pat. I want to play Rock the Rock. So I was like, I should play this one first, right? Yeah. A gooder game? <laughs> hey, listen, I mean, nice kitty. Don't bully me, okay? Well, it's hard to talk with your mouth full of to think of her teaching cold. you something. Yes. This is a you were on pick on the talk in a box discussion. Oh Wait, which one? Because I've been on TikTok like a lot for a long, long time today. A mouthful of quarters is what it looks like. Alright, bye. I discuss a lot on TikTok. <laughs> School? talking about my daughter is that what you're talking about the remake pat or the new one i meant the the remake or the new one the, the remake or the original yeah i wasn't trying to like get heated or anything i was just trying to like get some um i don't know reassurance i guess uh i had questions i've had questions for like a couple months and they kind of seemed like they knew what they were talking about. And I was just trying to make sure that they weren't trying to, like, say teenagers should be put on hormones and stuff like that. Okay, cool. That, it's good. It's good, Pat. And if you haven't played Crisis Core, it's really, really... I like it better than uh, 7. But that's just me. It was... No, it wasn't like that. It was, it was actually... Um, a really good conversation and they were really helpful like really 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 helpful it's hard being a mom with kids raising kids in this day and age I don't remember things being like they are nowadays <laughs> when I was a kid and yeah it's hard to be a mom with kids it's hard to be a mom with kids you're right but like this day and age when things are being pushed so heavily and hard on kids, it makes them confused as to how they're supposed to be and how they're supposed to act and think. And 
I don't know. I would never, I don't care what my kids do with their lives or what they become, what they grow up to be, to be like, like, I mean, I care, but like, I'm not going to judge them if Nikolai's a freaking garbage man, this driver, okay? Hi, deuces. Um, if Zoe works at McDonald's or like none of that, like I'm not ever, I would never, the problem isn't with hormones, the problem is with puberty and peer pressure. It's, and it's not even that, David, it's just things are different. Like society is different and it's a lot more, uh, there's internet, honestly, is the big difference. And I feel like that has a lot to do with it. And I have nothing against, like, like if my kids grow up and say, hey, I'm not a girl, I'm a boy, I'm not a boy, I'm a girl, like, fine. If that is how you feel deep down, honestly, true to yourself, not because somebody pushed it on you, I support you 100%. I will back you no matter what. And I would back my kids to the end of the earth. I don't care for anything. But if I feel like they're being manipulated in some way, or I feel like society and, and traumatic experiences are impacting the way that they're thinking, I'm not jumping on the bandwagon just yet, and I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit so that way we can stop, kind of go over, evaluate the situation, okay? And, like, especially when, like, their childhood was so different, like, if... For instance, one of my kids, the girls, my girls are very prissy growing up. Very much, I'm a princess. Um, I'm making ice powers. I want to be in dance. I'm going to be a cheerleader. Dresses every single day. No tomboy at all. Not even a sliver. Would literally cry if you put him in a pair of pants. Like... I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon that they're immediately a boy. Especially after two big things happen. Like, my grandpa passed away, which is very, very close to one of my children. Um, and then I put them back in public school and there was a person on her bus that was like, you're going to do this and you're going to act like this. And she was like, okay. Like... It's a lot. Hi, David. I try to in inspire everyone to just be themselves and themselves, not for everyone else. Exactly. And that's how I tell my kids. Be yourself for yourself. Like, you don't have to impress anybody. Not me. Not the people that you went to school with or that you do go to school with. Not the people that you hang out with and talk to, like, in the neighborhood. Like, if you, you have to love yourself on the inside for, you, your, for yourself. Like, if you can't love yourself or you, nobody else can. I mean, other than me and your and their dad, like, that's the only person that's ever going to love them the way that, other than themselves. No one can love you more than you. And I want my kids to know that self-love. Have a good stream. Thank you, deuces. But yeah. It was, it was a tough day and I had questions because they were like talking about they had a thing and I was just curious about what they were talking about and it was really good it was really good I liked it sure is foggy here all right gameplay we got distracted sorry deuces another door should win. no he is of no consequence uh Excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I... I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that... <clears throat> You did something to her. Gender talking politics. Those y'all don't. No, it's over. It's over, Kenny. We're playing the game. It was my mother's. 
She left its father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. I swear to Freya. <gasps> but check them. What are they? Just look if they're golden. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Sorry, I'm coming. Oh. He's got gloves on. Oh. What's he whining about? Fresh booty, booty, fresh booty. Oh. Okay, hold on one second, you guys. Let me go. You might want to mute your mic just in case you get burned. Give me one second. I'm going to go take um, food out of the oven.
we're back. Guess we're back. Guess who's back? Guess Mandy's back. Mandy is back. All cold. Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I, I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. So, what brings you around, friends? Yes, my young man? Be seeing ya! Oh, I could use a distraction. I'm missing like two of those. I think I'm missing one of those. Until we meet again. Hold on. Yes, Grace. Dr. Pepper as a cooler. There is none. We have the two liter. Axe has a better one. The one had that had more. I don't like axe magic. So there's two more dragons. I know where this is. We already went there. See, I'm missing one. And two of those. But the horns, I've got all six horns and all of these. My friends? Sister! I can do whatever you need. Where 
carrying those. I'm sure that'll come in handy. I need the rest of these. Well, stuff. when you do need something, I'll be around. I kind of want to go back. I know we're... <clears throat> I want to go get that. I don't know where that dead troll's at. Hi, Johnny. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the echoing screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Madurin Sam Gengur, Egen Vigrum Hans. Gengur I. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't touch me. What? 
I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Um, I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Well, well it's your neck. Ugh. It's made out of boar poop. Atreus, to me! Alright, there's three of these, okay. And I saw one of them over here. I don't know, it was hard to hit. Oh, is that my third one? Yeah! My rage increased. Yes, son. It was evasive, okay? 
too eager. Maybe that's the problem. Do you think all dwarves are as weird as Brock and Sindri? No. Wonder why they don't get along. Then. I mean, they're family. That is their matter alone, boy. Okay. Shit, we don't know. Please be careful. I'm still fixing that. Stupid head sheep. Tell me what's wrong with you. I'm not ready for that upgrade. I can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Focus up, boy.
this? Why don't you come here? Why don't you come here? Get me a new ring light, guys. I need a new ring light. Who wants to send me a ring light? Who's got a ring light that they'll send to me? Hi, Thirsty. Gracie? Honey, he's just thirsty. Ah. Can you get him some water? Ah. Nikolai's okay, got his bowl. Nikolai! Give me some of his bowl. Is it in the. Then it's back in the, ki the bathroom. Smoker water needs new batteries. Um, that would require me to have one. Actually, Ugh. smoke alarms never work. They only go off whenever actually. The only time they actually go off is when something isn't actually on fire. It's just smoking a lot, like a candle or like if you have something on the burner that like is smoking. That's it. But if you had actual fucking fire, it never worked. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a lot. It would serve you to stop talking.
Raven? down there.
An ogre. Giant, powerful, angry, but thankfully not very smart. The ogre is one of the ugliest enemies we fought. Their huge arms give their attacks good range. Will you shut my door and be quiet? Their huge arms give them their attacks good range, and they can hit the ground so hard it creates powerful shock waves. be fun. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Wonder if Sindri knows his sky movers tangled with the up here. I doubt it. So how are you going to get it to work? I do not care. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic, even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. Only for a little while. Only for a little while. This may need something we don't have. Get 
the white thing is? Does it snow? We'll use this. Graythar. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. I hear it. Where? There. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. We actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back to God. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Riosa! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanahan? You know of it? Just stories. Other didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Those runes are of Muspelheim, the Fire Realm. No place for children, even brave ones. Tyr's Temple, built with help from the Giants. Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. It doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now mm. all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. Getting a letter here and there. But we need the rest of the language list.
killer is locked. Still. There's another frog. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Please, take those stairs down and turn right. I'll be waiting up here. What stairs? Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Now push it back into place. How you doing? Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. Hi, Craig. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's Aww. always been really strong. Thank you, Craig. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless the souls. Stars. Denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanny or magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Aw, thank you, Neil. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tear stone? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. You made this for Broxat? hear me? Let me turn my mic up. Is it the game? Is the game too loud? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Even Brock's gone. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Hi, Nick! Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Let's take her safe arm. Is this it? Well, Jake, so safe dark. Arm. What are you this wearing? temple has been asleep uh, underwater for cookies? almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken.
Nick, Grace, hush. Shut up. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. Yggdrasil. 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 It's how you say the name. It's Yggdrasil. Which is so cool because this tree is in Breath of Fire 3. I know I don't say it right. I used to call it Yardzel, which is so stupid because there's no yard in it at all. It's like GG. It's, it's called the EGD is how you, it is like egg. And then the dr is you roll the R and then it's seal. Dr seal. Dr seal. And it's like. <clears throat> The YGG is pronounced like egg, but if you lived in Africa, like a certain part of Africa, so it would be like Iyag. 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 Iyag Brazil. So leftover riblets from Applebee's? I've never had Applebee's. Iyag Brazil is how you say it. Is that crazy? Approach the table. Don't look at How the does table. it work? You will need this, <clears throat> a bifrost, to create travel between realms. <clears throat> it can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the nine realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the world tree, separated only by the Bifrost light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. Yg the tree of life is bound to the fate of Yggdrasil. So she, she called it Yggdrasil. My girlfriend never had TJI Fridays until our trip to Tennessee back in June. See, I've never had Applebee's or uh, TJI Fridays. Yggdrasil. But I was, what I read is it has to be pronounced more like Yag. Yag. Like egg. Like Yag. Like if I was in a certain part of Africa, they pronounce egg Yag. Yagdrasil. The world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death. I know it don't have nothing to do with Africa. Okay, but the 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 YGG part is pronounced. I looked it up, okay? How to say yard yigtersil. Alright, the Y in 
Learning how to pronounce Yggdrasil can be tricky if you've never heard it spoken aloud before because it's not a word that sounds the same as it's spelled. The correction pronunciation would sound similar to Yggdrasil, rolling the R in dr, if you want to sound fancy, broken into three syllables. The Y is pronounced as the letter I, E. The YGG part of Yggdrasil should be pronounced as Yag, E E H G, Yag, which should sound like the South African pronunciation of egg, Yag, Yagdrasil. I've never been to Africa. I know it has nothing to do with Africa, but that's what it says in the thing, Yagdrasil. So kiss my ass, Kenny. Pucker up, Buttercup. And rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Alfheim? We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align. And the realm between realms will open. You shall ask. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower you see from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of all time. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black bread go away? With the captured light of all time, yes. I feel like she's using us. She wants something. I don't know why, something about her sketchy AF. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. 
she... Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? There's something glowing inside that knot? I think you killed it. I'm thinking of your arm. We just paid a new friend. Who? He's pushing me to move. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to look at him and your friend. He's with me and him at age. And we're all crazy. Especially if you can make sure you help. I'm chasing the charger so I can stay on. So it won't die. You're not playing on the um, thing with the charger. It's Oculus. No, no. Hold on. Please, can I? No. Please. No. I don't. Then I'll break it. Nancy, get back on the game. She is. Get your crust. Get your. Get your crusty, dusty, busty, ugly, booty oh, face. I know one, I know one. Snitzeroonie out of here. Yo. Oh, no, 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 What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. Both sides need it. Why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. Dark Elf, watch it! attacking us for. We didn't do anything. More will come. Ugh. Where's this stuff even come from? It's kind of sad to see all these dead elves. Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least we're getting closer to the light. Wait, 
Was that Sindri? When the compass turns gold, an objective is somewhere in this area. Search the area for clues. There's three of them. Let's see it. Hold on. Follow me, Atreus. Be quiet. Let your door close there. Thank you. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But... Uh, oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Oh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. I want to see it. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Okay, back to work. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using... ...his own bare hands. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver, and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> you know how sensitive people be. I guess that makes sense. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. What speaks to you?
new. So Hi, Patrick. Anything you need, young sir. Ooh, what more do you need? Don't forget to wash your hands. I'm sorry, but I have to do that. Here's Nerd Talk. Your face is too small. I can't see it up your nose holes. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. It's a dork, Alex. Well, it's not. I already got it out. I'm sleepy. I don't know why, but I am so tired. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Wait, for now. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? Because when you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. 
Lots of voices, angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. He's like... concerned Papa now. best friend but right now I am busy and I would answer your phone call if I wasn't live. Hi Bart. Howdy howdy you need to be fun. Oh it's here. Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Statue or whatever. Look at that. That must be the ring temple. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim, too. Should I read it? What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Hmm. Yeah, this is still the first one, Alex. <clears throat> I'm gonna save it right here. I'm gonna lay down and take like a little nap. And we'll do a morning stream. Like six to between six and eight. I've gotta get my kids up for school at six. Um, so in like four hours. Uh it'll probably be more like seven or eight after they get on the bus and whatever. Um I don't want to be falling asleep while I'm trying to play, so I love you guys. We'll be back in the morning. I'll see you then. Bye.